Hello Dale friends, this is Eulon Humphreys here. I'm speaking to you from Bible Reflections, a 10 minute message. I pray God will bless it to your heart. God loves you, I love you. I pray God will be with you, give you strength to hear and to follow the way of the Lord. I'm speaking to you on the fact that there's one, that the power of the blood. Oh, the power. Without blood, there's no salvation. Without the shedding of blood, there's no salvation. The Bible says in Hebrews, the ninth chapter, that there is no, except there be the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. No remission. God has ordained it. Whatever we think about it, God has ordained it and said, This is the way it is. There has to be a sacrifice made for sin. And that's the reason why in the Old Testament throughout the days before Christ they would bring the animals to the priest and they would slay that animal and, and, and they'd take the blood and, and, and the high priest would pray at the altar and sprinkle the altar with the blood. And when God saw the blood and when he heard the prayer of the priest he forgave the people. All of that pointed toward Calvary. When God would give His only begotten Son to die upon the cross and shed His blood for you and me, that we would be saved forever, so that God now can be just and still be uh, and forgive the sinner because there our sins have been paid for. When Jesus went to that cross, He took our sins with Him, and when He died, our sins all died with Him, and we're free. That don't mean we'll be perfect. We're still miss it but God's blood has been shed and we're forgiven always and all and forever and so it's good to know over oh, the revelation in the 12th chapter uh, we read these words in, in verse 10 and 11 I heard a loud voice in heaven saying now has come salvation from our God and the power of his Christ and the accuser of the brethren the old devil has uh, been uh, cast out who accused them day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony and by loving not their lives to the death. And they overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb. We overcome sin by the blood of the Lamb. Praise God, there's no other way. We have to come through Christ to get to heaven. There's no other way. He alone has shed his blood so we could be forgiven. And so we know this is true. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord God. We find over in Romans in the 8th chapter, verse 33, Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? Who, who shall say anything, that any one of God's children is condemned after they've been saved? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns? It's Christ that died, yea, rather that is risen again, and is even now at the right hand of God interceding for us. And so we're saved and saved forever because we believe in that God that loves us. He is with you right now. The blood has been shed. And when you believe in Jesus, then your sins are forgiven. And instead of on your way to hell, you're on your way to heaven. You're going to have a home up there with God forever. So down here, he's going to be with you and get you through. He'll bring you through it all. He'll bring it through you all. Somehow, some way, he'll make it right. Oh, through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon his word. I thank God for the mountains, and I thank God for the valleys. And I thank God for the storms he's seen me through. For if I never had a problem, I wouldn't know that he could solve them, nor would I know what faith in God could do. Oh, through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I have learned to depend upon His Word. And so this is the secret. Depend on God. Love the Lord because He loves you. You're not alone. He's with you. Right there in the situation you're facing. 
You'll never be alone, Christian. He's with you to help you and to bring you out and to bring you in. He's there to say, hold on, I'm holding you. And I thank God. And we're in the book of Revelation. It says that uh, Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that washed us and loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests unto God, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. This Christ who died, he loved us and he washed us in his own blood. And he's made us to become priests and kings unto God forever. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be that name of our God who loves us, cares for us, who will never leave us. It's by the cross that we're going home. It's by the blood that we're clean. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other found I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And so we see that it's important to believe in Him. I want you to believe in Him and pray to Him. I want you to ask Him to forgive you if you've never done that and ask Him to come into your heart and ask Him to save you and He'll forgive your sins and you'll be saved and born again, saved from hell and born again with your name written in heaven. Praise the Lord. And if you're a Christian, and I'm talking to you Christians, my dear brother, my dear sister, God loves you very much and He's with you and you're washed in the blood and you're clean. And as you walk with God, find you a good church and attend and worship God and obey His Word and find the way of God in your life every day. Oh, praise God. You're safe, you're clean because you believe in Him. The one way to heaven is through the cross. There's no other way. The one way to be saved. In the Bible in Exodus, the 12th chapter, the Lord God told them to put blood over the doorpost of their house in Egypt. Every one that believed in him to a, kill an animal and take the blood of, and a hyssop or a brush and put some of that blood over the doorpost of their house. He said, tonight at midnight, I'm going to pass over Egypt. And when I see the blood, I'll pass over you. And when he saw the blood, he passed over. And he didn't look at the shrubbery or the house, what kind of house it was. He looked for the blood. That was the one thing that would save them. And so if they, there wasn't a the blood there, then the oldest child in that family would die. And that happened all over Egypt. Oh, praise God. Praise God. When I see the blood, I'll pass over you. And so we need to see and understand that they all pointed toward Calvary, where Jesus would die one day for our sins. And when I see the blood, it passes over us. We're saved forever. God bless you. God keep you close to the Lord. God help you to know God cares for you. And He's going to see you through every situation. And He's going to bring you in and bring you out. So call upon Him. Ask Him to forgive you when you fail. Ask Him to hope in, uh, for that hope and the help of heaven. And God will see you through and bring you, out, bring you to that place where you can find Him and find the answer. The answer is not always easy to come by. There are times when your heart will be broken. But in that brokenness, you're going to find God's blessing. In the name of Jesus, our beloved Lord, amen and amen.